We know that our planet is beautiful and it provides us with all we need to survive. But our lives are dependent on energy, energy from coal, oil and gas. We rely on non-renewable energy sources to power our homes, electronics and transport. But burning fossil fuels increases global warming. Each year in Graham Sound, South Africa, a dedicated team introduced science, technology and innovation to the youth of the country at SciFest Africa. This year there were workshops on clean energy sources which can be used to power vehicles in the future. In, in order to break it, you need what? Fuel cell. You know, you need a fuel cell. Uh, there's biotechnology, there's nanotechnology, there's also hydrogen and fuel cell technologies. And these technologies, they are emerging technologies that then contribute to, and they, they are green, actual greener technologies that are coming in. Biofuels, where they release less uh, pollution to the environment as compared to the uh, normal fuel, fossil fuels. Hydrogen, what is hydrogen and fuel cell technology? You know, it is a technology that has been identified by the Department of Science and Technology as a frontier science and technology platform. Its aim is to allow proactive innovation and knowledge generation to benefit South, South Africans' natural resources. South Africa has got a lot of natural resources. The end product of coal is carbon dioxide uh, and other wastes. Um, and we need to reduce that in terms of the global warming uh, situation. Um, if we are able to then generate energy which is used in industry, household, etc. from a different source, we are saving on the burning of coal in the long run. All the products that you see, it's about innovation. What's happening is that the little bit of water that I put in is being split into hydrogen <coughs> and oxygen. Can you see that? It's going down. And that one's also going down. Uh, that's gone green, let's pump that up. Hydrogen fuel cells work like batteries, but they produce power using hydrogen gas instead of petrol or diesel. Unlike an engine, fuel cells don't burn the hydrogen. Instead, it fuses with oxygen to make water. Electricity is released and this is used to power an electric motor that can drive a vehicle. But why is it so clean? The only waste produced by a hydrogen fuel cell is water. Uh, hydrogen fuel cells um, work on a non-pollution basis, so it's quite interesting um, to learn about them and um, they're definitely more environmental friendly than normal fuel consumption. There are other areas of science that allow us to use cleaner energy and eliminate the use of fossil fuels. Biotechnology can be used in medicine, agriculture and cloning of plants and animals, but it is also used for biofuel. Biofuel is better for the environment and is made from organic material such as vegetables, starch, animal fats and even algae. Majority of this fuel that we're using they are not are renewable and they're not sustainable. So with, with the challenge that of uh, some of them they become scarcity in the other areas which before it was very dominant. And with the issue of climate change it affecting many other things. Some of the things of production of these natural oils are not formed. But with the biofuel which is able to use biotechnology to regenerate these things, I think it will benefit a lot of people in South Africa. So basically green economy is an economy which is focusing on how to protect the risk of the our environment. But what's so great about biofuel? Well, the ingredients are renewable, unlike fossil fuels. Burning biofuel emits less greenhouse gases and biofuel can be made from leftover food. In South Africa, they need to understand that science is the key for, for sustaining this country with a lot of these challenges. Without science, we couldn't really make a lot of things. <laughs> Do you think milk has got acid or no? Anyone? I think so. You think so? A bit of acid then? No, let's just, let's just prove that. If we can have more scientific, scientific laboratories where people can train science, I think more people would be interested and then we'll reduce the poverty in South Africa. SciFest is a platform which it gives youth, youth or, or learners who are coming for, 
environment where they might not have an access of this type of knowledge or never access the, in terms of workshop, maybe they've never had an opportunity to do such kind of experiment for them to see, to be excited to see how can this really, uh, how can they use this kind of technology to benefit more. There was one learner here who said he, does, he actually he doesn't want to do anything of science, but now after the workshop, now he considers to come back to science. So these are a good platform to mobilize youth towards science, engineering and technology. Look at the youth of today. They are so full of new ideas, which you know, the older generation think they may have come, thought of everything. They haven't. It's been said that the cure for AIDS is sitting in a classroom in Africa today. And if we don't, educate our children rather than teach them. If we educate them properly, I believe we can unleash that power. Uh, and the same sort of philosophy can go into um, unleashing renewable energies as well. So what can the youth do? Well, get involved in science and be part of a team that develops new ways of using biotechnology and hydrogen cell vehicles. This will ensure a better future for our planet. You could easily invent another type of energy that doesn't require fossil fuels. At this point, scientists are looking for new ways to produce biofuel using products other than food. The future is in your hands.